Jesus Witness Nightmare Theater. You want to see a person demonized? How reassuring that they're finally going to be gone. All these despicable enemies that have uh, just reproached Jehovah's name, destroyed, never ever to live again. When it comes to God's enemies, finally, they're out of the way, especially these despicable apostates. But the wicked will perish, the enemies of Jehovah will vanish like glorious pastures, particularly they will vanish like smoke. Oh God hates you. So this, I thought this would be a nice memory aid to this verse stay in the mind. Here's what Jehovah's promising. That's Jehovah's enemies. I hate you, and Jehovah God hates you. I hate you, and Jehovah God hates you. episode of I Have a Demon, Real Life Exorcisms. Some things are just so terrible, they are barely believable. But what I'm about to tell you is true. Which is being charged with a moral crime this man was having a threesome sex a brother wears an undergarment that's so tight it rubs his penis as he moves around he gets aroused and even ejaculates demonic on the sacred altar in the sanctuary of the church what happened was demonic correct but what i wonder is what was this priest thinking? Was he drunk? Was he high? Was he mentally ill? Whatever he was abibing doesn't really make any difference. Demons were involved to desecrate the sacred altar in a sanctuary with having sex on it is positively demonic. But this was so satanic. There must be more behind it. One thing I can tell you as an exorcist. Not only do they both have demons, they are likely victims of sexual abuse themselves, probably incest or molestation. This guy has so much demons in him, it's he's got a little demons in him, probably. Like who? Who's stronger than Zeus? Beelzebub. I hate you, and Jehovah God hates you. Beelzebub, you look at me. Look at me, Beelzebub. <laughs> so you are the ruling spirit here, huh? Ruling this kingdom. Do you have a right to be there, Beelzebub? I'm the prince of the flies. Well, I know you're the prince of the flies, the lord of the flies. You're the stinking spirit of the dung heap is what you are. You're no prince of anything. You're the prince of excrement. How's that for a title? <laughs> you know, we can deal with that later, but for right now, Beelzebub, you're going to have to leave him. Look at me, I Beelzebub. do what I want. He doesn't want you. I do what I want. No, you do not do what you want. You do what we command you to through Jesus Christ. And let me tell you something. Jesus Christ hates you. He hates you. He hates everything about you. Pigs like you and... Dogs? You're all pigs and dogs. First of all, what a battle. That 
that was an epic battle. I don't think in the history of the church, in 2,000 years, anything like that has ever been seen by people all over the world all at once, joining in prayer. That's what God's called this ministry to do. And you can see tonight what the devil's really like. This was a miracle tonight. You saw a miracle. God bless you. Signing new members only YouTube subscription channel. Never before seen footage that we can't put on our regular page. My mission has been to help people around the world get free from Satan's bondage. I've spent more than four decades ministering to these people and by God's grace have seen tens of thousands of people freed from the grasp of Satan. I've documented thousands of hours of shocking, unbelievable, unseen footage of these battles with demons. And I want to share them with you so you can learn to discern the tactics of the enemy. If your life isn't all that it should be, if relationships aren't working, if your health, your finances, or your spiritual life are unhappy, schedule a personal one-on-one -on -one encounter with me. We'll get to the root of the issues that are holding you back. We'll give you answers in a whole new direction in life. If you're oppressed, we'll confront it. If you have curses, we'll break them. Whether you need healing, deliverance, or biblically sound direction in life, a personal one-on-one -on -one encounter will set you free. Call one of our encounter coordinators now. You've waited too long to get your life back on track. Take action. I look forward to seeing you soon. He freed me. He freed me from my oppression, my destruction, my lifelong destruction. And it's been getting fruitful, but the fruit tree is going to get a lot more brighter now. <laughs> has absolutely changed. Um, I can say that I'm not the same person that I used to be. I have two consecutive unrelated haunted houses. Uh, I have to give all the credit, and number one to God, but, I, but two. I've given my life back with my wife, and it gave me a chance to, to save my life and save my wife's life. And I'm going to take this, this experience in today's today's learning process for her and I to, to, to get our lives back together and, and to start loving each other again. Call one of our encounter coordinators now. You've waited too long to get your life back on track. Take action. I look forward to seeing you soon.